Jesus Christ, man. Just grab a hold of him. What are you? That was fing unjust and fing un called for. Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. Today's story is out of Warren County, Virginia. On April 2nd of 2022, 77-year-old Ralph Ennis was driving when Warren County Sheriff's Office deputies attempted to pull Ralph over just before 1.30 a.m. for going 63 in a 55 mile per hour zone. Four or two, there's a 40 mile an hour pursuit. They're headed southbound passing Reliance on 522. Mr. Ennis suffers from dementia and didn't stop for almost four miles when he pulled into a 7-Eleven gas station parking lot. In the initial news release, the sheriff's office claimed that Ralph exited his truck following deputy's commands but refused to drop his keys. After, a deputy came from behind, grabbed Ennis's arms, and escorted him to the back of the truck. While attempting to restrain Ennis, two deputies and Mr. Ennis fell over the protruding trailer hitch of his pickup truck. The sheriff's office claimed that Mr. Ennis sustained two non-life-threatening injuries, a cut to the ring finger of his right hand and a cut above his right brow near his forehead. The dash cam and body cam show something completely different. Jesus Christ, man, just grab a hold of him. What are you? That was fing unjust and fing unfucking called for. Jesus Christ. Oh, that's gonna be. At the end, the man saying that the incident was unjust was Corporal Lowry. Without him filming this incident and reporting the true event as it actually occurred, we would be left with the absolute lie that the sheriff's office released. Corporal Lowry wrote in his report that when he arrived on scene, he observed an elderly man that appeared confused, opened the driver's side door with his arms down by his side, and that another deputy ran behind Mr. Ennis and placed his arms behind his back, jerking Mr. Ennis towards the Ford F-150, slamming him into the camper face first and observing Mr. Ennis spit something out on the pavement just below his body. He also wrote that another deputy came from the side of Mr. Ennis and grabbed him, while the other deputy had his hands behind his back, that Mr. Ennis was pushed over, but his legs had caught the hitch of the back of the truck, and that two deputies and Mr. Ennis were on the ground at this point but the lies that the sheriff's office released isn't the worst part. Mr. Ennis was transported to the Warren Memorial Hospital, where he began exhibiting signs of a cranial bleed and was taken by ambulance to another hospital. Mr. Ennis died 13 days later. The chief medical examiner is conducting an autopsy but has not released the cause of death and manner of death yet. It's important to know that several weeks before his possible homicide, Mr. Ennis was reported missing and was the subject of a Pennsylvania silver alert because of his dementia. 77-year-old Mr. Ennis probably shouldn't have been driving, but he also probably shouldn't have been thrown to the ground. One of the deputies involved in Mr. Ennis' arrest is on paid administrative leave and the other has been reassigned to administrative duties. Neither has been charged. I will continue to provide updates on this incident as they release information but it is unlikely that either officer will face punitive repercussions for their actions, and that in the end, the taxpayers will have to pay for the wrongful death of Mr. Ralph Ennis. I 
be at when I'm at the 7-Eleven. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ, man, just grab a hold of him. What are you... That was fucking unjust and fucking unfucking called for. Jesus Christ. Oh, that's gonna be. As always, thanks for watching. If you have a video you'd like to submit for review, use the link in the description or pinned comment. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification for future content. And remember to like, share, and comment down below of what you think of this interaction. It really helps the channel. If you enjoy our content, try our other channels, Lackluster Limited for criminal psychology content and The Odd Side for paranormal videos. Shirts and other merchandise are available at the Teespring store. Membership start at just a buck if you'd like to help further support the channel and get a slick lack logo next to your name. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. All links are down below.